wonder if somebody was sleeping in here. Dude, no way. There's a safe in here. No. I swear. Are you freaking kidding me? What is up fam? Welcome to another adventure. My name is Omar. Today I got my friend James the fan oh, with me. Now we are somewhere quite scary. James and I, including my friend Mo, came here a year ago and we decided not to film in here because it was that dangerous. Uh, now I'm not really worried so much now because we're inside. What makes this place dangerous? Drug deals going on, prostitution, cops going in and out of the Rose area. Got attacked when I came here last time, and then when I left, didn't, didn't he, there, there was, was a guy laying outside. Yeah, and guy pulled a knife over me. And then when I left, there was a guy laying outside on the ground, like he, he was looked like he was out dead. Yeah. Like he was dead. I give James a ton of props for coming back here because he came and filmed the video here all by himself. Now this place is a funeral home. And it happens to be haunted. It is abandoned. They left everything behind, bro. Everything. Everything? Everything. Wow. Oh, shit. Let me show you the inside. Okay. Oh, dude, this is bad. <laughs> I hope there's nobody sleeping in here. Oh, yeah, this is bad. Yeah, I need to put a mask on, too. So if you didn't know, James and I started a road trip, and we wanted to start this road trip with a bang with explore videos and this is the first place that we were gonna hit up wow it's massive there's so much to explore here James didn't even get to explore the entire place now from what I was told is that this place is haunted there's whispers that people hear in all parts of the day I mean day and night I'm not sure if we're gonna spend the night here but there is a possibility I mean it may not be safe though just from the neighborhood alone Where you at, James? Yeah. Hello? I heard a whistle. I heard something. I'm gonna go this way. Yeah. I'll go with you just to make sure it's safe before we just go out. Alright. This is something guys. It's just like the whistle that we've seen last time. Nothing has been touched. This place is more than likely condemned. Oh, yeah. okay. Bro, it smells bad over here. Yeah, dude. Well, I just farted, but... <laughs> oh, is God, that why I it smells? Smell that. What the frick is that? Alright, that's not oh. fart. Oh, my God, that's horrible. <laughs> what is that smell? I don't know. Dude, look, there's like cassette tapes here. So guys, and, you guys didn't know this when I was here last time. Oh, bro! What, what? You missed this last time! What, what? There's a safe in here! No! I swear! Are you freaking kidding me? Dude, there's a safe! Guys, this is why I miss filming with my boy Omar right here, guys. Oh, Wait, there's two! Oh, one of them's open! No way, bro! What the hell? I never... Oh, my God. I'm so excited, guys. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Hold on, let's see if this is... Okay, this is a combination safe, and it's seized. But this one's open over here. Careful with nails. No, they didn't put bodies in here. I mean, there is a possibility they used to put human remains in here, like urns and stuff. So there, there could be like people's ashes. Wait, that's open? No, this one's open. There's nothing in there. Bro, that's a really good find, dude. Okay. Yeah, it is. One thing I didn't really prepare for coming into an abandoned place is mosquito spray. There's actually mosquitoes in here breeding, and we're getting tore up bad. And I didn't even pack any. 
I do have some wasp spray though, but I'm not sure if that's uh, gonna repel mosquitoes. I might. Oh, oh cool. This is like the church. Oh, it's in really bad shape though. I don't even know if we're gonna make it over there. I'm trying to picture this place during its original glory and what I came up with is this was the original entrance where people would walk in and then maybe there was some pictures here of the deceased and this is where they would walk in into the chapel for the funeral service and the chapel is where we went oh look right here oh dude look at this this is where they would sign the books and I think there's something there I think there's a paper still. Okay, no, I'm wrong. Look. Look, right here. That's where they would sign and, you know, say that they were here visiting. Cool, that's still there. Have you been upstairs yet? Yeah, I was upstairs. Is it safe? Uh, I don't know, remember. Oh, like, God. I it's really safe, to be honest with you. This whole place, I feel like it's going to come crumbling down on me. These are crazy. Yeah, they're cool. There's like antique chairs in here. How much money do you think is oh, in here? Dude, what the hell somebody I upstairs? Sounded like freaking somebody walking, dude. Did you hear that too? It sounded like somebody was upstairs. There's a lot of homeless people that are outside, but from what we were told, nobody comes in here to sleep. I don't think so. Walked right past that casket and didn't even notice it. Look, this is a casket right here. What? Yeah, dude. Yeah, that's a casket. What the heck, bro? Seriously? I swear. It's a I wooden wooden that. casket. Look. Wow. I never even noticed that one. Alright, keep going this way, dude. I'm excited to... Dude, there's a casket right behind you! Really? What is this? Wait a minute. Oh, this isn't a casket. What is it? it? Wait. I don't know. What is this, bro? Look, feel it. It's like, it's like heavy duty. It's like a safe. Is that for like human ashes or something? Wait, is that to burn? Yeah, dude. Is there any hole? Is there a hole or something? No. Mm. It's heavy as hell though. This alone right here yeah. is worth money. Oh yeah, I guarantee you it's worth some money. Dude, there's a lot of stuff in here worth money. I don't know if it's a coffin or maybe like a like an urn of some Let sort. Let us know if you guys know what that is. We can itch on my arm. So, dude, go that way and I'm gonna go this way. Just be safe. Like, yeah, you be safe too, bro. No, I'll be fine. I just I worry about you because you can't see, bro. Alright, so we got some storage here. And it looks like somebody may have been sleeping here. I could still use this right now. Yeah. I know why they brought that. Oh, here's the chapel. Hello? I'm a little scared. Not gonna lie. Let me know if you see anything, hear anything, feel anything, and I'll let you know too. Sorry if I sound weird. These are awesome. Alright, James went upstairs. I'm hearing noises coming from here. Is that you, James? Uh, James is upstairs. Spider web. Whoa, cool, an organ. I got some hymns here, too. 
Oh. All right, not a good idea. Kind of an odd book to be here. This is what I thought would be here is hymns. I think that's James upstairs. He's like directly above us. I'm gonna walk over here. Oh, look at all these books. This is like a, looks like some kind of an elevator that would maybe lower the bodies down. Wait, is there a basement here? Okay, we usually don't have basements in Florida, so that's kind of odd. I don't know why, but I'm hearing really strange music. It's not an ice cream truck. Dude, no way. This is where they would prepare the bodies. No freaking way, this is so cool. Not a good idea to touch that. Mosquitoes are so bad in here. I'm seeing evidence of people spending the night in here i would love to run into one of those people because from what i hear no one will spend the night here and the homeless population is through the roof in the area now reason why i would like to speak to those people is because they probably have some really good stories about this place there is a chance that we may run into some of them this is the basement not sure if james even went down here basements. This old paper 1964 oh look at this mirror I think James ran into something Wow, another reason why I think not many people spend the night in here. It's really hot. Where are you at? I'm right here. I heard something fall just now, but like I heard, legit heard something when I came up there. Dude, look at all these caskets. Yeah, why don't you go to the other one? And there, look, there's more little caskets. Look. Bro, this place is insane. Yeah, I know. I've never seen anything like it, bro. That's why I'm so excited. Look at this. What was that? Mm -hmm. Dude, look at this. What kind of casket is that? I've never seen anything like that. Oh wow, like a, oh that's a wicker casket. What? Bro, you know how expensive those are? It's in really good condition. Bro, I seen a casket over there that is probably 10 grand. It's all white, really nice. Really? Bro, there's so much money in stuff. On this check, uh -huh. look at the date. 
Top right corner. 1958? Yeah. Wait, $155? Yeah. Dude, I swear Dude. something just walked right something, past me. Like, I just seen a shadow. Like, I'm not even joking. You seen it too? Yes, bro, yes. Are you sure there's nobody in here? There's like some really weird opera music playing outside. So, so strange. But look, there's a casket right here. Not sure how old it is, but wanted to show you what an inside of a casket looks like. It's not as comfortable as you would think. I mean, I don't know, they might have changed over the years. Oh yeah, look at that hole in the ground. Gotta be careful with stuff like that. That goes back to the first floor. Oh shoot, that doesn't feel safe. Alright, I'm not going to go in here. There's more caskets over there, a lot of them. Oh wow, there's a ton of them. Oh, look at these casket displays. That's probably what they would show the families. Like, hey, what do you think of this? What do you think of that? I don't want to get clickbaited. Oh, that's, that's a hole right there. Oh, yeah, I'll turn around. Okay. There's the difference between savage and stupid. Going that way stupid yeah there is quite a few caskets over there <gasps> what the hell is that <gasps> oh dude what i swear like the, the, it sounded like the door was opening over there was that you right now no dude i'm trying to get my i can't get my what the heck what the hell? There's some some people right outside of here. It's not like they were arguing. I don't feel safe here. Dude, is this money? Oh, I just got clickbaited. Yo, they kept everything. Look at this. There's like checks and like receipts. Like they were really good bookkeepers. Yeah, for sure. Oh. Yeah. No way. They would make the coffins here. Yeah, bro. Go look in the corner over there. All those coffins. Look at that white one in particular. But... The white one? Yeah. All right, man. Yeah. All right, man. Be safe. Don't fall in any holes. I wonder if somebody was sleeping in here. <gasps> that is a really weird looking casket. Maybe it's not a casket. Like it could be it could be like a cheap one. You know, like you you can't afford a fancy one like this. That one has like hay in it or something. And it has a pillow. Okay, I, I don't know if I ran into that by mistake. But that was really heavy and it almost fell on me. I was walking right past this like top of ca this casket. I don't know if maybe the floorboard moved when I was walking past it or something, but it like almost fell on me. You heard it? Yes. Hey, were you like making noises?
could have sworn you were behind me or something. Hey, do you know where, uh, you know where that one casket is that's coming out of the elevator? It's downstairs. Yeah. Whoa, bro. What? What the hell is that behind you? What? I don't know. I literally just seen something move over there. Oh! Cool. Golly, I heard something in there, too. There's something over there, dude. There's somebody over there. Okay, Listen. Check this out. We need to... Bro, there's people out there too. But that's out there. I just heard something in here. Maybe, maybe the people are actually in here. No, nah, dude. No, it's that right over here hanging out by the window. Do you guys see anybody in here? Well, I cannot wait for everyone to watch this video and to see if they, if they saw anything. How's it? Oh, bro. Did you see to the right of you over there? Uh uh. Tell me what you think your initial thinking is. Right here? Yeah, when you look right there, is there anything that catches your eye at all? Why is there a chair and a mirror right in front of it? Oh. Like, that makes me think like some, like, why would, I don't know. True. It makes me think like someone's sitting there doing some kind of portal or ritual or. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. That's beautiful though, whatever that is. It's like a cabinet. Oh, dude, this does not feel safe. No, all the way down is dangerous. But where is that one spot where... I'm not going this way. There's a whole area, guys. Bro! That was not me moving. You were not moving that. What was that? I was just hitting mosquitoes. There's mosquitoes everywhere in here. Yeah, I don't think we could... I don't think we'd survive down in here at night. You know what sucks is when I left my car, I had a big old bottle of mosquito repellent. Right on the door, but we caught a lift here. We didn't park outside. One rule about urban exploring, especially abandoned places, is you never want to park right outside. I always want to park a little little ways and walk or do what we did. We went and parked at a safe place because this is a bad neighborhood. I have have my laptop. I got expensive stuff in my car. Bro, what is this? Look. Somebody must be getting freaky in here. Look, dude. Kind James wanted me to bring him here. He was like, hey, what, where's that casket that's coming out of the wall? It freaked him out. He was like, dude, what the heck is going on? And he's never seen like the the area here where they're preparing the bodies. Oh, this is cool, bro. Isn't it cool? Taco Rabanne maybe? Sounds good. I don't know. Bro, look, there's somebody's wig up there. <laughs> <laughs> so there's, look, some lifestyles. Hey. Those? Oh, bro, this is where people come and get freaky. Ew, get that away from me. Look, I was wondering, there's like underwear in here too. Well, this is the only place we weren't able to go into. Maybe that's not a furnace, that's the freezer. The mosquitoes are horrible in here. Gosh, I don't know what it is. Like, I, I hear they, ha they like O blood type. I happen to be O positive. And yeah. All you old blood type fams out there, you know my pain right now. Like, I could be in a crowd full of people and I'm the only one getting bit by mosquitoes. Like, they flock to me. Let me know in the comments if you suspect what that may be right there. Yeah, James didn't know what it was. It sounded like somebody was upstairs right now. Oh, oh God, what was that? It just squished. I don't know. Oh, what is that squishing in there? I don't know. I don't know. Bro, let's get out of here. Yeah. So I want to show you the outside of this place here. Pretty gross. Looks like people come and change back here. If I would have had mosquito spray, I probably would have spent the entire night, but the issue here wasn't like being scared or I mean like I, I feel fine. Like once we were in the neighborhood's really bad though. We got kind of bum rushed by people for, for I just money. Saw, I just ignored him and I kept going and then Omar's back there like uh like <laughs> <bro>. <laughs> I, I ended up giving him ten bucks. I was like, oh here you go. You know, one guy said he was hungry. I was like, you know, here you go, maybe you could 
split it. Uh, there was two guys. I told them that for them to split it amongst each other. That was nice of you, though. So, I mean, yeah, bro, care. I am so proud of you, bro. Give me some dap for doing that, man. Seriously, like I did not think, like you wouldn't do that with me, Mo, and Carlo. No, but you did. That was it with four just of us. Me and you, bro, just made it to my car right now. Hey, uh, if you're wondering, we are in Jacksonville, Florida. Big shout out to all the people affected. Actually, we're not that far from where that shooting took place. Huh? Less than a mile. Less than a mile away? Mile. Yeah, less than a mile away, like James was saying. So, yeah, we're not that far from downtown Jacksonville. Actually, we're in. I think we're in downtown. I have, like, 30 mosquito bites, and they're all on my arm. Like, if I would have wore shorts, would have been horrible. But we're going to start getting out of here, but the video's not over. I'm going to show you some, maybe some behind the scenes of what we're up to. I think we're going to be driving up to South Carolina tonight. It's actually not that far. We're in the north part of Florida right now. How long did it take us to get here? Like four hours? Yeah, we drove about four hours already on interstate. Actually, we weren't even on the interstate, but we're going to go on the interstate right now. So, Yo, fam, listen up. Omar went inside. He's going to use the restroom. You know, you know how it goes. I want to tell you guys something. I grabbed his camera while he's inside there. Guys, this road trip, I don't want to say this is like a last resort, but this road trip, guys, we're going and we're going to be doing the most epic videos. We're going to be taking a lot of risks, guys. Like this was a risk right here, and this is just the very beginning, and that's not even close to the riskiest thing we have planned. Make sure you support my boys best you can by smashing the like button, by retweeting this, by sharing it on Facebook, by telling your friends, guys, because listen, there's only one way that this channel and his other channel is gonna survive and that's because of the fan, because of you guys, by promoting it, by supporting it. Almost two years to the day, guys, when I met my boy Omar, his channels were struggling, YouTube algorithm was taken away, pranks were dead, he didn't know what to do. And man, I told him, you know, just calm down, we're gonna go film some epic stuff. And we went to California, we did our West Coast trip, and, and that kind of started it all off. Well guys, I feel like this is a new beginning for us. This is a new start. It's up to you guys. By the end of this trip, we would have already put out at least two weeks worth of daily videos. We recorded at least 10 or 15 more videos. We spent a ton of money, a ton of time. I miss my kids. Omar misses his kids and his wife. He's actually missing his son's own birthday. Just to film these videos for you guys, so we're gonna give it our all. We're gonna give it a thousand percent. We're gonna put everything into this. We need your help, guys. Make sure you support us, because we're gonna need it, fam. As I was leaving this McDonald's, and mind you, it is only 8.30. Oh, that's so wrong, bro. That is so wrong. James just threw his sweaty shirt on me right so now. Wrong, dude. I'm gonna get paid back for that. I know. What? Look at this McDonald's window. Oh, what the hell? No wonder they don't let people in there during the what? Somebody didn't get any Big Mac sauce. As I was leaving McDonald's, I was using their bathroom. They locked the door behind me, and I was I was like, damn, I'm kind of hungry. I wanted to grab like a salad, or actually, I'm getting breakfast. And they said, I mean, it's 8:30. Look, it's not even. Well, it's 8.40 now, but we tried knocking on the door let to let us in, and, and they wouldn't they wouldn't let us in. So they this must be a really well, bad they said, neighbor. They said that there's only women here right now, and oh, that's and why they're not staff, letting anybody maybe. in, because it's only women, yeah. And looking at their window, I don't blame them. <laughs> yeah. What happened to your window? Somebody threw something at it. -uh. They threw something at it? Really? Yeah, so I guess somebody threw something out the, at the window. Almost thought it was a gunshot or something, but it's probably a rock. And I was at a hotel where just outside that hotel. James doing a live stream right now. Uh, Appreciate that. No, I hope to. Bro, you suck, man. What? Come on, dude. My butt is sweating right now. <laughs> Bro. Uh, damn. I wonder why my butt's got like water dripping off of it. It's a prank that James and I play on each other a lot. God. Put like the seat warmers on. Let's go, fam. Know that too. Uh, no. right now. All right, fam. We made it to our hotel room. We are in South Carolina. South Carolina. We are in South Carolina, and this has been so far a great. I mean, no stress at all. But this is just our first day. It was a little stressful earlier, like, you know, with the mosquitoes and all, but as far as like the trip is going, I mean, we made really good time. I'm not like 
dragging, super exhausted. I mean, I feel great. Yeah, I mean, I am tired. I'm not gonna lie, I am tired. But I'm good for a couple hours. I'm gonna start editing this video that you're watching. That way you can see it tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, make sure to hit that like button. Turn on post notifications. Follow me on social media too. I give you a lot of extra stuff there. I gotta go for now before you leave. Give me a kiss. Peace.